Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Judy Hopps from Zootopia. So we start with the inner edge of the left eye. Starting from the top, we're going to curve out to the bottom. So starting at the top, let's curve in and then out towards the bottom. From here, I'm going to connect those two points with a curve going around the outside of the eye. Starting from the top, we'll curve out and then just curve it back in towards the bottom. Along the top edge here, this is where the eyebrow is, so I'm just going to thicken that part up, starting from the outside and curving in. Let's go ahead and color the top area in black. From here, I'm going to draw in the upper eyelid. Starting on the outside here, we're just going to curve around to the inside. Curving around and then in. Just kind of tucking that in underneath that eye area patch. Under here, we're just going to draw a circle down here for the iris. Starting at the top, we're just going to curve all the way around to the front. So starting down here, Curve around and then tuck this in on the inside edge there. On the top edge here, we're just going to draw a circle for the highlight. So up here, we're going to just draw a smaller circle and we're just going to trace around the outer perimeter just along the inside. Just curve around, leaving a little white edge. We'll color the inside area in black. From here, I'm just going to thicken up the outer edge here. So this is where the eyelash is, so the upper eye area. So we're just going to Thicken that up slightly and just taper that out. Along the edge here, we can actually draw in some eyelashes. So starting up here, just kind of turn and curve out a couple curves like that, just for the eyelash. Let's go ahead and draw in the eye on the right. So I'm just going to take this and flip it over, but just stretch it out a little bit because this is where the character is facing in that direction. So up here, I'm going to line this up, the top edge of the eyebrow coming down towards the bottom. So we'll just curve in and then down. From here, I want to take this line and just curve around to the outside edge of the eye. So curving down like this, so it goes a little bit wider, and we're going to connect this to the inside with the curves, curving in like that. Let's go ahead and draw the eyebrow. So up here, we're going to start on the inside, start off thick, and just kind of taper that as we get to the outside edge. Go ahead and color this in all in black. Let's go ahead and draw in the outer eyelid. So starting up here, we're going to curve around and then back in, just almost like a little circle. So starting up here, curve up, and then just tuck this back in on the outside. Let's go ahead and thicken up the outer upper eyelid. So starting up in the front, we'll curve around. So it's a little bit thicker at the top. Go ahead and color that in black. I'm just gonna straighten this up just a little bit. I'm gonna draw some eyelashes. So like I did on this side, I'm gonna draw some on the outer edge here. So just turning up just a few little lines like that. Let's go ahead and draw in the iris. So in here, we're going to draw in a circle. Similar to the height on the left side, we'll start at the top, curve around to the bottom, tuck this in along the bottom, go back up to the top, and curve around the other direction. Up at the top here, we're going to draw in that same circle for the highlight. It's a little circle up there. And then again, tracing out the outer perimeter. So we've got sort of like a white strip around the outside, color the inside in black. So we've got the pupil in there. Okay, so we've got the eyes. Let's get into the nose. So the nose, I'm just going to place in the center in between the eyes. And again, because the character's facing that way, the center of the face is sort of in a curve like this. So right up here, I'm just going to draw in the top edge of the nose, starting from the outside, curving towards the right. From here, I'm going to take those two points and connect them with a curve. That kind of drops down in the center. So curving down like this, and then back up. Now on the edge here, I can just draw in a little curve for the nostrils on both sides. And along the top here, I'm just going to draw a little wrinkle for the nose. So right here, I'm just going to draw a little curve like that. Let's go ahead and draw the mouth. So down here in the center, I'm going to draw the split in between the mouth. Now from this side, I'm going to curve up towards the right. For the upper part of the mouth on the right. And then over here on the left, I'm just going to draw a short little curve. Again, because the character is facing that direction, you'll see a shorter line for the upper edge of the mouth here. Let's draw in a tooth. So in between this line, I'm going to draw a little curve like this. Tuck that in underneath the upper mouth. And then over here, I'm just going to go over a little bit. Just draw a curve down and back up to the top on the right for the bottom lip. And we're going to tuck in the tongue here. So draw a curve from the bottom over to the right side. Now let's get into the face. So basically the cheeks sort of puff out and we go up to a rounded top of the head. So I'm going to draw on the rounded top of the uh, head first. So this is going to start from the edge of the eye 
and curve up towards where the ear would be. So I'm just going to curve up just above this eye here. So starting on the outside of the eye, the curve, and just kind of stop right above there. From this side, I'm going to go down and draw in the bottom cheek on the right on the left side. So right underneath this eye, I'm going to puff out a cheek and just pull that in. On this side, the ear is going to get tucked in on top of the head. So I'm just going to have to puff out the cheek on this side, coming in towards the chin. So up here, I'm going to leave a gap for the ear. Starting right about here, I'm going to curve out and just start to pull this back in, just underneath the chin like that. From this side, I'm going to drop down the neck. So from the center here, it's going to come down like that. Okay, so this is the front edge of the neck. We're going to draw in the collar. So from this point, I'm going to curve up, intersect that side of the head there. Over on this side, I'm just going to pull out a line and curve this back in. This side, I'm just going to curve it in. Okay, so this is the collar coming in like this. I'm going to connect these two sides with a curve that comes down in the middle and curves out. From here, let's go ahead and draw in the ears. So this ear here gets tucked in behind the head. So I'm going to start by drawing two ears that come up from either side of the eyes, just above the eyes. On the left side, I'll start up here and curve up and out. So a really long ear like this. Now I'm going to bring this back in, but then curve it back down. So we're going to straighten out as we get towards the bottom. So at the top here, I'm going to round at the top, curve it in, and then come down. Okay, so you see that there's a little bit of a curve in and then back. On this side here, I'm going to draw the inner part of the ear. So curving in and then down. We're going to do an overlap here. So up here, I'm just going to curve and tuck this in underneath that part of the ear flap. Up here, I'm just going to draw a separation. I'm just drawing a curve on the inner part of that ear there. Let's go ahead and draw in this one. So this ear actually overlaps on top of the head. So what we're going to do is I'm going to drop down and do an overlap here. Just draw a curve going out and up to the top of the head. I'm going to close this gap here. Now I'm going to bring this down and just bring this straight into the side of the head there. So rounding up the top of the ear, curving out, and then bring this right in to the head there. Let's go ahead and draw that little curve, that little detail on the top, curving and rounding that out. Now we're going to draw in these flaps. So starting on the inside here, I'm just going to draw a curve that comes in, and then on this side I'm going to curve it out and go up, just like that. Okay, let's draw in some mouth detail. So there's a little patch around the mouth, so up here, Right on the edge of the nose, I'm just going to curve out and tuck that in on the side of the head here. On this side, I'm going to do the opposite, just curve around the mouth. So going around the mouth and pulling this back in on the chin. Okay, so we got the head. Let's just finish this off with a very simple body. I'm going to have the arms just folded around so it's crossed arms. On the back here, I'm just going to draw on the back first. So I'm just going to curve this back like that. From here, we're going to have the shoulder up here, arm coming across. This arm is going to come across and just un it'll be tucked in underneath this arm like this. So what I can do is I can either draw on the paw first or draw on the shoulder. So let's start with the simple part first. So we're going to draw the shoulder round here. Just around like this and bring this down towards the elbow. It's just a little hook like this. Now that we have the arm, we know that this hand is going to be placed on top of the area here. So starting on the inside, I'm just going to draw a curve like this. Do an overlap the second paw and then another overlap here and I'm just going to bring this right in to that point like that. Now if you just close this gap off, this is where the arm, the hand goes over the top of the arm. Now this arm is going to cross over, so crossing up like this. From this point I'm going to do a sharp turn right into the side of the hand there. Now I can go ahead and draw on the top, the front part of the vest. So from this point I'm just going to curve that in to the hand there. And simply just going up to here, we'll draw the upper part of the arm and cross like this. And then from here, I'm going to turn and tuck this in underneath this forearm. Do a little overlap line like that. Let's go ahead and draw the stomach. So this line, I'm imagining going behind the arms and then curving down. Let's draw in some glove lines. So here, on this arm, we're going to curve it this way. On this arm, we're going to curve it in the opposite direction. We'll draw the top part of the vest, curving the front and then back curve this line here and that is pretty much it there we have it there's Judy Hoffs from Zootopia I hope you enjoyed this lesson please give us a like and share this with your friends thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon